Hey everybody, Brian Miller, Small Town Movie Watcher, and I just got done watching The Family Fang, rated R. Uh, it's rated R because, um, they're swearing. That's pretty much it. Um, so this movie is about, this movie stars Jason Bateman and Nicole Kidman and Christopher Walken, and in throwback scenes, um, this red-headed woman that if you saw her, you'd go, yeah, I know who she is. Anyway, so uh, the movie's about uh, these two grown children who are the children of um, this famous parent couple who are known for their um, publicity stunts or art pieces, as, as Christopher Walken characters call it. He calls it an art. It is art because it's moving and it takes people by surprise, so it's art. Um, and it's about them uh, trying to do one last publicity stunt to make the world come to know and realize something. Um, and in the in what happens is is that they go missing and are presumed dead. And then it's Nicole Kidman and Jason Bateman that are trying to find out what happened because the police aren't really doing anything. So this movie is a drama um, with a couple of one-liners in it not very there's no there's not much funny in it um but it, it's drama through and through and it's discussing it's showing the dynamic of a family as they grow up and how a childhood uh, affects the adulthood of, a, of children and and what can happen when even as adults they their parents go missing and what happens to children at that point point. and these are adults these are children that are in their 40s um, so the good parts, I thought that at, I thought that the acting in this was a pretty good movie, uh, pretty good. I thought that the actors, the choice of actors were good. Um, you know, with being Jason Bateman, Nicole Kidman and Christopher Walken in the today shots, the person who played their mom, who I don't know was a, was just kind of weird because I didn't know who she was. Um, in the younger shots, I knew who, I kind of knew who, uh, the Christopher Walken character was, uh, the dad, and I knew, I definitely knew who the woman was, but just the, the now version of them, it didn't make any sense. But I think that everybody else that they had was good choices. Um, interesting thing, this movie was, um, directed by Jason Bateman and produced by Nicole Kidman, so... Of course, they put themselves in it and made them look good in it. Um, so bad parts. I just kind of discussed the bad parts. The mom character, though she was a good actress, kind of boggled my mind in the mix of everybody else. So there's that. But whatever. Um, also, the other bad part is, is that it kind of went slow. There was a time, I think it was around the hour mark, I fell asleep for a good 10 minutes so I was kinda lost for the last 20 minutes of the movie uh, because I woke up and it's like oh this is important what's happening but I didn't ask I could have asked Laura asked me all the time what happened what's that mean I could have asked but I didn't I just went with it but I fell asleep 10 minutes at the hour mark um, is this safe for the family no there's swearing there's um, some gun shooting, there's blood, there's, um, there's kind of drug use, there's mention of it, but there's not real drug use, so, um, so, not family friendly. Should you go see it? We got it at Redbox for a buck fifty, so it's not horrible that if, that you want to get it, you could, because, like I said, buck fifty, not a big deal. So with that, Brian Miller, Small Town Movie Watcher, we got done watching The Family Fang, rated R. If you want to see it, go get lost in it.